So I'm Jimmy Wright. I'm a customer relations manager. Um, I currently work at the Green Money Care Home, which is the big care home in Swiss Hospital. Um, and I'm involved at the home in um, supporting and connecting with the local community, uh, being involved in different projects um, in the community and at home, um, and also kind of um, being a point of reference for people who need to the admission process. So that's a big part of my role is to support the admission uh, into care and to help with kind of any signposting or, or additional services that people might need. Um, so pre-pandemic I used to do quite a bit with dementia friends, uh, part of the Alzheimer's Society. Um, so go to different businesses, community centres, um, people inquiring into the home and face-to-face -face dementia friends information session. Um, that was a big part of my kind of community work, uh, trying to make dementia friendly communities. Um, obviously, the pandemic stopped that um, because we couldn't go out and do these face to face. So, um, prior to the Alzheimer's Society launching um, the, I suppose, uh, the information sessions via Zoom, um, my community, a lot of my community work stopped. I just wasn't able to go out and, and do the things that I do normally go and see the people I do uh, would see. So um, that's when I got in contact with Age UK um, to ask if there's anything I could do to support you guys. Um, I own a van, I drive a van day to day, so um, I put myself forward to help deliver. So I spent a few days over probably the initial lockdowns. Um, basically collecting PPE and delivering out to volunteers who would then go and see people in the community for AG Pack. Um, it was just a way of me being like that. I had a little bit of value, I suppose, and take the pressure off some services that were, that were quite pressured and, and needed some support in, in the early lockdown time. What do you think uh, doing that volunteering has had an effect on your life? Um, I think because, because for me, um, I've been in work in a Day through the lockdown, um, I've had routine, I've had structure, um, I suppose I've had an element of freedom of movement. Um, from a personal situation, um, I was at no more risk, I wasn't putting anyone at risk being out and about. So I think going out in the day um, to go and deliver, you know, essential supplies and, and seeing people that weren't going out, weren't travelling. Um, I think it, it made me realise how lucky I was to have the job I had, to be able to make a difference, and to be able to still operate, and to be able to go and support people that weren't in that position. Um, it was really nice just to be able to add a little bit of value and, and help people then that were going to help people further as well. I'm now, I'm back doing Dementia Friends, um, but online now at the moment. Um, so that's been nice to be able to sort of retrain and, and be able to help people in, in a different way. Um, I've done quite quite a few um, bespoke ones for people and their families, whereas before it was probably more for community centres and for more businesses that were doing interacting with people with dementia. I've actually had people come to me and say, well, can you do this? And I think because I'm doing it online, and I don't necessarily have to leave work or I don't have to leave home. People are happier to ask for that because I think they feel it's less imposing. So that's really nice to be able to do that and continue to do it. And I'm looking forward to going back to it face to face, but I think I'm going to probably do the two. Um, and yeah, I will continue to, to do bits with Age UK um, and, and, and any of the local charities that really need my support. Um, as soon as we can, I'm, I'm hoping we can get some events together, do some sort of face-to-face -face bits with AGK, that would be really good again.